of power. God, we thank you, God. God, we thank you, God. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good and his mercy endure it forever. So, Lord, I thank you, God. I thank you for your everlasting mercy. I thank you for your everlasting mercy. I thank you for your everlasting mercy, God. You are a merciful God. You are all providing. You are all sustaining, God. God, you have done it again. And I thank you for it, God. I thank you for bringing us to the end of this year, God. Oh, God, so many persons are perplexed tonight because they would not be going to Junkanoo in the morning. But I know one thing. I'm in God's presence tonight. Hallelujah! That's the best Junkanoo you can have is to be in the house of the Lord. God know how to do all things well, huh? All things well. Ain't nobody have no complaint. Nobody have no excuse why they can't come to church because they're in the shock pacing that they have to run out to get a part of their group. They, in the, they can be in the house of the Lord tonight. And I thank you, God. God, you, oh, you are awesome, God. You are an awesome God, and I praise you, God. I thank you, God. Yes, God, many may still be saying, God, I cannot go because of the COVID restrictions. But God, I know, God, that you will orchestrate it. You will fix it, God, so that they will be in the place where they need to be. Even if they have to be on the outside, under tents or under the cabana, God, wherever they need to be, God, they will be in your presence, God. And I glorify you. I magnify you. God, I thank you now. Have your way in this place, God. Have your way like never before. Have your way like never before, God. God, we thank you, God. Father, now, Lord, as we go forth in this service, I ask you, God, that you will have your way, God. Do that which only you can, God. God, speak to us like only you can, God. Heal, deliver, transform, God. Father, I pray, God, as we go into the worship experience, God, the worship celebration, God, I pray, God, that everybody will come excited about who you are and excited about what you have done in each and every one of our lives, God. I thank you, God. I pray, God, as your manservant come to declare, declare the word, God. I pray, God, that you will use him mightily, God. Speak, God, to the broken hearts, God. Speak to those, God, that may be in despair, God. Speak to them, God, that may be perplexed, God, and not understanding, God. Still trying to comprehend and wrap their minds around all that would have transpired in this year, God. Even for some in this day, God. I ask you, God, that you will speak to them like never before. Father God, those family members that are hurting over the loss of their loved ones even yesterday or even today, God. Oh God, I pray, God, that you will comfort them. Speak to them like only you can, God. Oh, God, I pray your healing hands and touch, God, right now, God. Those of them that may not come into the sanctuary, but may be listening by means of media, God. I pray, God, that you will speak to them right where they are, God. Heal them, God. Those of them that need you to come into their life, I pray, God, that they would open their spirit, God, and ask you to come in, God, because only you can heal. Only you can deliver, God. Only you can save, God. And I pray, God, that as we go forth in this service tonight, God, there will be a declaration like never before as we enter into 2021, God. Let your glory be filled. Let your glory be done. Let your glory provide all that is needed. In Jesus' name, God, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We glorify your name. Hallelujah. God, we thank you, God. We come to celebrate the Lord tonight. Amen. We come to celebrate the Lord tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. I only get one person who come to celebrate the Lord tonight. I'm excited that I'm here in the house of God tonight. I'm excited that I'm not in the bar room getting half tone, getting prompt and prime, Elder Edison. I'm excited that I'm in the house of the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Amen and amen.
Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Lord. And all that's in me, bless his holy name. name. We're going to start our, our worship experience tonight, going back to the hymns, because we certainly want to thank God for his faithfulness. We want to thank God for his greatness in our lives all through the year 2020. And despite all that has happened, God has still been faithful to us. Amen. God has been faithful. He remains faithful. And we bless God for that. We're going to sing, O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder, Hallelujah. consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. Someone say, how great thou art. How great thou art. Come on, let's declare it, how great thou art. How great thou art. Come on, we can have a whole service just on that one line, how great thou art. How great you have been, how great you are, how great you will be. And we bless God for this opportunity tonight to bless him in this house. Amen. Let's sing together. Oh Lord. Oh Lord my God. When I when I in awesome wonder. Consider. I see the stars. I, I see, see the stars. I hear the rolling thunder. I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout. Thy power throughout. The universe. The universe is played. Come on, then sinks my soul. Yes. I soul, I Savior God to thee. Come on, raise your hand, say how great. How great thou art. Yeah, how great, how great thou art. Come on, raise your hand, tell him that thing. And 
forest glades. And forest glades, I wonder. And hear the birds. And hear the birds. Sing sweetly in the trees. Sing sweetly in the trees. Come on, says, then I will bow. Then I will bow. From lofty mountain grandeur. The brook and feel the brook and feel the gentle breeze and feel yeah. the gentle breeze come on one more time testify that sings my soul it sings my, my soul my savior my God to thee to come on tell him how great thou art how great Come on, tell him how great, how great thou art. Oh, how great, great thou art. Says now, when I think. And when I think. Yes, that God, his own son, not sparing. That God, his son, not sparing. Sent him to die. I scarce can take it in. I scarce can take it in. That on the cross. That on the cross. Yeah, Lord. My burden gladly. My burden bearing. gladly bearing. He bled and died. He bled and died. Yes. To Come on, lift your voice and sing together. Better sing my soul, my soul, oh my Savior God to thee. Oh, great thou art. How great thou art. Thou How great, how great thou art. Come on, one last word. And when Christ shall come, when Christ shall come, with shout of acclamation, hallelujah, take me home. And take me home. Says, what joy shall fill my heart. shall fill my heart. One, then I shall bow. Then I, I shall bow, bow in humble, in humble adoration. adoration. Come on, you don't have to wait till ten. You can bow right now. And, and they are Come on, let's proclaim how great He is. My how great, how great Thou art. Come on, one last time. Lift your voice and say, Let us sing, my soul. soul.
Come on, can I get a witness in the house? Can I get a witness in the house who will testify to the goodness of the Lord? Hallelujah. 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 Come on, if someone shout loud. We're about to exit this year. God has been great to us. He has been faithful to us. And we bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you're worthy. And we give you the praise. Anyone else glad that they're in this place right now, in this house? To celebrate the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And you're still here. You are still here, which means you've got life and breath and strength to praise and bless the Lord. I want you to lift this roof with your praise tonight and let the world know that we are celebrating a life and a righteous God. Come on, clap your hands together. Hey! Yeah! Oh! But you gotta sing and we give you praise. Give you praise. Oh Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. And we give you the praise. You the praise. Always making a way. And we give, and you, we the give you the praise. Oh Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. Come on, tell it. And we give you praise. And we give oh you praise. Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy. And we give you the praise. And we give you the praise. Oh Lord. Worthy. And we give you the praise, you the praise. Always, making always making a way And we give, and you, the we give you the praise Oh Lord, you're worthy, Lord, you're worthy. Hey, And we give Come and on, clap your hands, you everybody hey. Oh yeah Oh The oh Lord, you're holy, Lord, you're holy. And, we and we give you the praise. Always making a way, and we give you the praise. Oh Lord, you're holy, Lord, Lord, you're holy. and we give you. Come on, one more time. Clap your hands. The and we give you the praise. Oh Lord, you're righteous. Lord, you're righteous. And we give you the praise. Yeah. You the praise. Always making a way. Always making a way. And we give you the praise. And we give you the praise. Oh Lord, you're righteous. Lord, you're righteous. Yeah. And we give you the praise. You the oh praise. Lord, you're awesome. Lord, you're awesome. And we give and you the praise. You the praise. Oh Lord, you're awesome. Lord, you're awesome. Praise. The praise. Always making a way. Always making a way. And we give and you the praise. the praise. Oh Lord, you're awesome. Lord, you're awesome. And we give you and come on one more. Oh Lord, you're faithful. Lord, you're faithful. And, we and, the we and we give you the praise. Oh Lord, you're faithful. And we give you the praise. Always making a way. You're always making a way, always making a way. and we give and you the praise. The You're praise. always making a way, always making a way. and we give and you the praise. The praise. You're always making a way, always making a way. and we give and you we the praise. You're the praise. always. The praise. Give you the praise, so you're holy, 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 and we give, and you, the we give you the praise, so you're holy, 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 holy. and we give, give you the 
praise, so you're holy, holy, yeah. And we give you the praise, so you're holy, holy, holy. So you're worthy, 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 and we give you the praise, so you're worthy. You the praise, say you're worthy, worthy, and we give you the praise, so you're worthy, 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 so you're holy, 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 and we give you the praise, say you're holy, holy, and we give you the praise, say you're holy. Come on, stretch your neighbor, tell him. You are faithful, 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 and we give. And we give you the praise. You are faithful, 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 and we give you the praise. Come on, tell him. You are faithful, 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 and we give you the praise. You are faithful, faithful. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is your God. We sweat near 2020. Woo. This ain't righteous. Mm -mm. You're going to be working all the way to the 11th to the 12th hour. My Lord. Y'all can sweat some more right now because we can get. Come on, whether you're in the house, you're watching us somewhere on. Social media or television, wherever you are, you all got to get, tell your neighbor, get loose. Yeah, we can sweat in God's house, you know, no worries, you know, don't worry about it. Huh? Y'all can, y'all can let yourselves go. Let the Lord take over. <clears throat> we got to sing this, this melody of choruses together. And I want you to have a good time praising God, Mr. Yes. Come on, lift your voice together. We're going to sing. Oh, come on, clap your hands together, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. The Lord is good. Oh, my God is good. Hey, my God is good. Oh. God 
has the final say? You say. So who has the final say? Say! Has the final say. Let me tell him, no matter what the doctor say, you say! Has the final say. No matter what people say, has the final say. Jehovah turned my life around. Yes, he did. So who has the final say? You say! Jehovah has the final say. So who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Come on, you tell him, no matter what the doctor say, you say! Jehovah has the final say. No matter what people say, faithful to us. Hallelujah. 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 Mm -mm. Hallelujah. You all feel this yet?
I got only about an hour. Don't stay right. Don't leave me. But y'all can understand, Reverend Arthur took 20 minutes of my time. So you owe me 20 minutes, Bishop, and I'm afraid I'm going to take it from him. Because you owe me. But we can do this real quick. Let's watch night now. We don't play. And I guess what I can do? I'm going to ask Deacon Spurgeon to lead this march. He look at the what? Yeah. Tell him to see me swing the bat and softball. Come, Bishop. I'm, I'm Deacon Spurgeon. We can take a little march around the church like the old days. Come on. Sister Party, come. Y'all join this line. Y'all come. We can take one march around the church. Everybody got to get in the line. When they pass your row, get in line, but keep your distance. Don't get too close. Debbie, you in this too? Oh, Lord, I should put you in the back. All right. When they pass your row, get in the line. We can do this once around one lap. When we come back, when we come back around, find your seat. You all ready for this? Now, if someone ain't moving, like Deacon Wayne, grab him when you come. Tell he got to come. You got to get in this. No man, woman, or child will be left behind. Everybody got to go around at least one time. Are we going to go around and sing it, amen? You know what amen means? So let it be. It's already done. So we are marching and we're declaring that whatever it is you're looking for, it's already done in the name of Jesus. And you go to sing, you sing amen. And put it under your feet. And we're going into 21. All these things under our feet. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, one. Let's come on. One. Amen, amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah, say hallelujah, 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 Time to sing. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. for them. They The last one was just for them. Hey, boy, I need to get a lap around. Just for them. Hallelujah. And if anybody else come in late, tell them, come do their lap.
Everybody got a laugh around tonight. Hallelujah. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Of whom shall I be afraid? Wait, I say on the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. We're going to sing this. Because we set our hope on the Lord. How many of you set your hope on God? When we hope thou in things eternal, we will seldom be disappointed because we put our trust and hope in the one who controls everything, everything. together the Lord is my light say the Lord is my light whom shall I fear whom shall I be afraid the Lord is Lord is my light whom shall I fear shall I be afraid I will wait say, say I will wait on you oh I will wait on you I will trust in you, yeah, I will trust in you, come on Tim, the Lord, the Lord is my life and salvation, yeah, Who shall I be, shall I be afraid, shall I be afraid, the Lord is Shall I be afraid? Shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. Yeah. I will wait on you. I will trust in you. I will trust in you. I will remain confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord. Come on, you sing, I will. Come on, tell him again. I will remain. I will yeah. remain confident. confident in this. I will I see will the goodness. See the goodness of the Lord. Oh, I will remain. I will remain confident in this. I will see the goodness, the goodness of the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. We set our hope on you. We set our hope on the one. We set our hope on the You are the everlasting God. Come on, you tell her we set our hope on you. Oh, oh. We set our hope on you. We set our hope on your love. We set our hope on the one who is the everlasting God. You are the everlasting God. You are the everlasting. We set our hope on you. We set our hope on the love. We set our hope on the one who is the everlasting God. You are the everlasting God. You are the everlasting. We set our hope on you. We set our hope on your love. We set our 
seems to hide when darkness seems to hide his face I rest on his unchanging grace in every high stormy gale my anchor holds my anchor holds within the Tell him again, say, my anchor holds, say, my anchor holds within the veil. Oh, 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 oh. rise the Lord, oh, Lord, oh. weak made strong, save yourself, yourself through the storm. And he shall come with trumpet sound. Mm. Then he shall come with trumpet sound. Oh, may I then in him, oh, may I then in him be found, dressed in his righteousness, righteousness alone. 
faultless stand before his throne. Come on, sing it one more time. Let me get your declaration. Then he shall come with trumpet. Then he shall come with trumpet sound. Oh, may I then in him be found. Dressed in his righteousness, faultless stand before him. I want to do it one more time. Stop the music. Just one more time. Keep the rhythm for me. Then he shall come. Let me sing. Then, then he shall come. Sing with trumpet sound. This is the part. Oh, may I then in him. Oh, may I then in him be found. Yes. Dressed in his righteousness. Dressed in his righteousness alone. And no matter what you do, we're going to stand faultless. Faultless stand before his throne. Come on, let's sing together. Oh, Christ alone. Christ alone. One more time through the storm. He is Lord. He is Lord. Lord of all. Come on, somebody bless his name because he is Lord of all. Hallelujah. Just before we take our seat, Bishop, I know you. But I sent out a note to the church they asked them to tell you know if you if there's a song that you want to do that's been a blessing to you let us know now you see we can't do them all maybe after we finish preaching we may do one or two more this one we taught you a few weeks ago we want to sing this we're going to leave the blessing till after church goodness of God I love you Lord for your mercy never failed me Come on, tell your neighbor, God's mercy never fails. It never fails. All my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of the Lord. Here's the part. All my life, you've been faithful to me. All my life, you've been so, so good. With every breath I have, I am able, I will sing of the goodness of the Lord. Come on, tell your neighbor, don't stop singing about God's goodness. Don't stop speaking about His goodness. I love you, Lord. 
For your mercy never failed me all my days. I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. Just say, I love you, Lord. Sing it. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never failed me all my days, all my days have been held in your hand. From the moment, from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. Come on, tell me, all my life you've been faithful. Sing. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing. Of the goodness of God. I love your voice. I love your voice. For you have led me through the fire. For you led me through the fire. In darkest night. In darkest night. You are close like no other. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a father. And I've known you as a friend. I've known you as a friend. And I have lived. And I, I have, have lived. In the goodness. In the goodness of God. And all my life. All my life. You have been faithful. Hey, all my life. All my life. You have been so. So. Sing, we'll sing of the goodness, of the goodness, goodness of God. Oh, all my life, all my life, you have been faithful. Yeah, and all my life, all my life, you have been so, so good. With every breath that I have. It's running after me. Oh, your goodness, your goodness is running after. It's running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Oh, your goodness. Run after. It's running after me. Oh, your goodness, your goodness. It's running after, it's running after me. Oh, your goodness. It's running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Oh, your goodness. All my life you have been faithful All my life you have been so, so good. Every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God All my life you have been faithful. Oh, 
testify for myself you can testify for yourself all my life God has been and is faithful he's always been there for me and all my life God has been so so good with every breath that I'm able every breath that I breathe I will sing of the goodness of God amen what a testimony to the Lord amen Hallelujah, hallelujah. Right now where you are, put your hands together, lift your hands and praise as you're seated in the house today, whether you're in the house or outside the house, give God a praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, worship ministry. Hallelujah, thank you so very much. As we've come to uh, the end of 2020, I want to go into a time of just welcome and pastoral prayer. And then I'm going to go into the word. But I, I, I just want to, I got a shocker again this morning, this afternoon. I looked on my notes and there it was. The news came for, forward that my good friend, um, Valentino Obenia, he, he basically grew me up. I mean way back, way back when. He was the one that set up our television broadcast when we first started many years ago. He and Peter Campbell, I want to call their names. And, and I was, I was, I thought Terrence Bethel shocked me. My primary school mate, we've known each other for 50 years. Uh, talked from time to time. I thought my friend uh, 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 Johnson, I call, him, I call him Nesbitt Jr., I thought my friend uh, uh, Chabrin shocked me. And, and, and I said, God, how much more? But God is still faithful. God is still in control. And God is still able. Amen? And uh, we, we have been praying for somebody. And uh, somebody called the house this morning and said, Pastor, I just couldn't wait until tonight. They, they had a report that went out and and they were worried about what was coming back in the report. And after these many weeks, the report came back. What did it say? What did it say? Hope. It is well. It is well. Yeah, it's well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's well. You see, I know some folks, y'all ain't going to shout over it's well. But if you know, if you know how good God is, Amen. I don't want to leave this negative, uh, go out talking negative news, but the reality of it is this. Uh, you know, I, I try not to watch the news as much anymore because it's depressing. I mean, three young men just gone just like that in our local uh, Commonwealth of the Bahamas, just snuffed out into eternity. Families are mourning. Children are crying. Husbands, uh, sorry, wives are, are just mourning the loss of loved ones. The Bible says, in the book of Luke chapter 18, Jesus speaks to us after this manner. The Bible says, and he spake a parable unto them after this manner, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Amen? And I want to pray. I, I'm processing it, y'all. I'm just processing it, you know. Uh, but I want to pray. I know Valentino just lost his son a couple, just, you know, a little bit. He said, Bishop, you know, that's tough. And now to hear that. He's gone into eternity. One of the best camera people that we've had in this country. Worked at ZNS, worked at CBS in New York, all over the place, you know. And uh, I just bless God for uh, the time that he had uh, with us. And I've been able to know, I, I've been able to know him. I don't want to just pray all, only for the Obenia family and for the Bethel family. 
And Andre, I'm praying for you. He said, Bishop, I don't know. I, I, I can't understand it. I'm praying for you, Andre, and the Bethel family there. Uh, Nesbitt, Bucky, and, and, and the family, I'm praying for you and, and the loss of Brent and Yolona and the children are in hospital. I'm praying for this nation continuously. I'm praying even for us here in this local assembly. I was at the sanctuary all day today, and I was in the back in the quietness as I studied, and I, and I, you know, just, just me and God. And I thought, God, every every day that I live, as I guess I got as I get older, elders, and I recognize just how precious life is, how good God is. And so in this moment, I want to go before God in this time of prayer. This last day of December 2020, we're looking at it in the rearview mirror. Don't look back, just keep looking forward. But I want to pray. I thank God for the good report that we got from Sister Hope's family member that it is well. I want to pray for the, those who are mourning and those who are uh, just wondering and thinking, God, what am I going to do? I want to pray for you, whatever your need is today, in accordance with God's word. Believe God that he is still able. Ephesians 3.20 says he's able now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think. And then he says we've got to come into agreement. He says according to the power that is the Holy Spirit of God that worketh in us. We've got to allow, allow God to work in us, even through our pain. Amen? Would you just spend this time together? Let's spend in prayer. And God, I'm placing this oil upon me as a point of contact. Not just for me, but God, as a point of contact. Oh God, for every need, every need, not only in this house. God, wherever they're watching around the world today. Father, I thank you. Now, God, I come in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son. The name that's above every name. God, you said in your word that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess things in earth, heaven and in earth, things under the earth. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. God, I humbly confess for myself even tonight willingly that you are Lord. Father, now I bring the needs of these that have been mentioned. Those, God, that are in this house who you know their need. You know all of our situations. Father, right now I pray for the Bethel family on the loss of Terrence. I pray for the Obenia family on the loss of Valentino. I pray for the Johnson family on the loss of, of Brent. And God, I pray for those families that are mourning, even for the young men that have been killed here in our Commonwealth of the Bahamas today and yesterday. Father, I know in the midst of it all that you are still God. You are still in control. God, we will not walk in fear because you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Now I speak healing in accordance with your word into the lives of the listeners of my voice today. God, I declare your word that you were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities. Glory to God. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. And by your stripes we are healed. So God in faith. God we claim your healing even now. In accordance with your word. Now soothe the pain and the hurt. Oh God those that are in despair. May they understand and know that you are God of hope. In fact you are hope. And so God I bless you now. Now, God, I thank you for the answers, God. Thank you for the answers in the lives of those, your people. And thank you for the answers, God, even in the life of those that do not know you, but you are proving yourself to them by showing up and showing off as God Almighty. So, God, we honor you now. We praise you. 
Thank you for bringing us to these waning moments of 2020. Thank you that you still remain faithful to us. We honor you now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God, I worship you tonight. Glory to God. You are faithful. You are faithful to us. We bless you now. Amen. If you are just joining us, or if you've been with us for a while, we trust that you feel welcome. Know that God's presence is here and God's presence is there. Right where you are. I want to give a shout out to Deaconess Francis. God bless you. Yeah, I saw Laurie and Aria today and celebrating. I want to give a shout out already to my friend and brother, Apostle John Lewis there in the Philippines. And I bless God for you. I want to give a shout out to Canada, Miss Juliet, thank you for your positive words always. I want to give a shout out to, of course, all of you that watch around the world. We bless God for you. We appreciate you. We love you. Know this, God's power is just as potent here as it is right where you are. So I want to encourage you as we come into this year 2021. Know this, that God has great things in store for all of us. Amen? Amen. I do have a word from the Lord for the house tonight. I believe sincerely that I've heard from God as to what he wants us to experience in the year 2020. But before I do minister the word, she's prepared herself. I'm going to call Miss Mahalia is going to come. And she's going to minister in song. And then we're going to go right into the word. How can I forget? Bishop Lamb, my apologies, sir. So glad to have you as a friend there in Bermuda. And let me say publicly to my bishop, our bishop, Bishop Vaughn McLaughlin and Lady Narlene McLaughlin, thank you for all that you do for us and thank you for being a good good father and we love you so very much thank you for the word that you shared even the other day into our lives we bless God for you amen Miss Mahalia is going to come now to minister amen That name is Jesus. Oh, how I love him, the one who gave his life for me because of love. So unconditional, I will have life eternal. 
eternally. This name speaks peace unto my storm clouds. This name speaks calm unto my fears. And when I feel and no one loves me, his loving presence is so near that name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. That name is Jesus. Oh, how I love him. Amen. Hallelujah. I bless God for this opportunity. Not only do I love him, but most importantly, I thank God that he loves me. Amen. He is faithful to me and I praise him even now for his faithfulness. Father, now I pray in the name of Jesus. God, as I stand before your holy pulpit, your holy altar, God, I pray for your divine importation, your divine revelation. God, I pray for your power, God. Even as I speak from these mere lips of clay, speak to me and speak through me. Thank you for bringing us to these waning moments of another year ending, but a brand new year beginning. Father, now I pray that those who will hear my voice, I declare that your words will not Return unto your void. But it will accomplish that which you have purpose, And it will prosper in the thing whereby you sent it. In Jesus name. Amen. 
and amen. Hallelujah. As we come to honor the word of the Lord tonight, as is our custom, would you please stand with us As we read from the Holy Writ, the Word of God, the book of Genesis, chapter 26, verse 1 through 12, Galatians, the sixth chapter, verse 7 through 10. Hallelujah. God, I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you like I've never needed you before. Hallelujah. Settle my jitters, God, in Jesus' name. Genesis, the 26th chapter. And let's read this together, please, because faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. And there was a famine in the land. Let's read together please. Beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Jira. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Sojourn in this land, and I will be with thee and will bless thee. For unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all these countries. And I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. And I will make my seed, thy seed, to multiply as the stars of heaven. And will give unto thy seed all these countries. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. And Isaac dwelt in Jira. The men of the place asked him of his wife. And he said, she is my sister. For he feared to say, she is my wife. Lest, said he, the men of the place should kill me for Rebekah, because she was fair to look upon. And it came to pass, when he had been there a long time, that Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looked out at a window and saw, and behold, Isaac was sporting or caressing with Rebekah, his wife. And Abimelech called Isaac and said, Behold, of a surety, she is thy wife. And how saidest thou, she is my sister? And Isaac said unto him, Because I said, lest I die for her. And Abimelech said, What is this that thou hast done unto us? One of the people might lightly have lain with thy wife, and thou shouldest have brought guiltiness upon us. And Abimelech charged all his people, saying, He that toucheth this man or his wife, shall surely be put to death. Context, I read all of that to get to this verse. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received 
in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. Go over with me, please, to Galatians, the sixth chapter. Reading from verse 7 through 10. Hallelujah. The word is recorded in the 6th chapter, verse 7 through 10. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. God's word is blessed as you're seated and we say, Amen. So let it be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Just help my voice a little bit, please. Just give me a monitor. Thank you. Hallelujah. As I thank you, pondered throughout these weeks before we even came to the end of 2020. Wondered God, what are you saying as we move forward? Recognizing in the natural what we have encountered over these last 10 months or 9, 10 months or so. And one of the main things that God impressed upon me was that he does not work like man. He doesn't work like man. And when man has calamity, God still looks out for the best for his children. And so, as a thought, as we, vent as we venture into this brand new year, I want to give you prophetically what God spoke into my spirit. Simply this, reaping a bountiful harvest. Reaping a bountiful harvest. So that we can understand what a harvest is. A harvest is an ingathering of something that has been planted previously. Don't miss it. A harvest is an engathering. It is a, a maturing of that which has been planted. A harvest is bringing into the barns after all the hard labor that has been uh, expressed. You are now reaping what you have sown. So God says to me as we enter 2021, he says, lest the people think that you are first of all talking about natural. He says, remind them that it is first spiritual before it's natural. Because I know a lot of folks right now, uh, they would be saying, well, preacher, I guess you're talking about a harvest. I'm going to get money because I'm broke. I'm going to get a brand new car. I'm going to get this and that. No, God says, before that comes, there is something that we have got to do as believers in Christ. And we have got to do it with all of our hearts. Let me speak today. Remind you that what we used to do in 2020 won't work in 2021. The attitudes that we used to have in 2020 can't work in 2021. 
You and I have got to know that we know God for real even when it seems as though we are in the midst of a famine. We've got to recognize that because we trust in God, we believe God, that even though life seems messed up, that God is going to cause us to reap a bountiful harvest in our lives. Amen? I'm going somewhere. So, God spoke into my spirit so strongly, reminding me that in order for us to receive a harvest, there must be something. Don't miss this, y'all. There must be something that is planted in the ground. So many folks want a harvest from God, but they ain't willing to plant anything. So many folks want to reap rewards, but they're not willing to do what God requires of them. Amen? Amen. And so we got to understand God gave us an example from the very beginning of time. How do I know that? Because at the very beginning of time, what did God do? God sowed creation into the ground. He, he, he went into nothingness and he made something. He made creation. Then in creation, here's where I want to get to. In this creation, he also planted man. And what did God reap? God initially reaped true worship from man because man was perfect. Where you going, preacher? I'm glad you asked. God reminded me, he says, if we're going to have a bountiful harvest in 2021, then we have got to come back to the reality of true worship. Because when we worship God, then everything else falls into place. Ah, let me declare it prophetically and now. Devil, whoever devil is in this house, whoever devil is trying to block this atmosphere, you better show yourself now so that I can rebuke you now by the power of the Holy Ghost because this word is going to come forth and God is in control. This is the hour. God says to me, I'm going to give you one part of the message. He says, if you're going to prosper in 2021, you've got to sow worship like you have never sowed it before. What do you mean, preacher? The Bible says Isaac sowed in the midst of famine. How does that relate to my worship? There are some days when you don't feel like worshiping. There are some days when your life is dry. There are some days when your life is perplexed, but you've got to Still worship God because in the midst of worship, God will manifest himself. I was reading this text and I said, God, talk to me, talk to me. He says, Lester, because whatsoever you sow, that's what you're going to reap. In 2021, he says, y'all, this ain't no time to be helping folks to get along. He said, let the folks going to have to get along by themselves. You got to worship God for real by yourself. Ain't nobody going to be saying, come Pookie, come on now. You got to worship God for yourself. Because if you want the benefits from God, then you've got to sow into God that which he requires. And God requires true worship from the people of God. See, what does this true worship entail? True worship means that first of all, we've got to have a heart to worship. Oh, okay, come practical. Holy Ghost, I hear you. Come practical, come practical. God says, even when you enter the house, you got to enter in a spirit of worship. You, you and I can't come in the house just straggling along. We, we can't just come and do it, uh, you know, any old type of attitude. If we say we're going to start the service, God said you got to start the service even if nobody is there. Because at the end of the day, we got to recognize if we want the glory of God to descend in the house and in our lives, then we must be able to sacrifice worship unto God. Because when worship happens, then God will open the floodgates of heaven and pour out a blessing in our our lives. Now people say, preacher, what's this worship you're talking about? Well, I'm glad you asked. God has got to be foremost in our lives. Folks, hear me today. This ain't no time to be religious in 2021. 
because what's coming down the tube, if you think it's hard now, you've got to know that your anchor holds in Jesus Christ. You've got to know God for yourself because like Sennacherib to Hezekiah, there are going to be some days when you get letters from the devil and you got to know what to do and what to say. Hezekiah said, Sennacherib, he sent me a letter and what am I going to do? He says, let's call the prophets. Let's go down in prayer. There's some devils that's going to fight you in 2021 and you better have a spirit of worship so that you can speak to that devil and speak to that demon and declare that God is in control of your life because that what's required of us to sow our worship like we've never sold before. I'm not talking play play y'all. This ain't no time to be play play. God says, I was, I was having this conversation and I said, God but you said, I know I heard you. You said in 2020 that we were in our wealthy place but God uh, sometimes it didn't seem as though it was. He says, Lester, you can be in your wealthy place. But if you are not prepared to reap the wealth of the place because you have not sold anything in the place. You ever see you could be somewhere and still be hungry? Why? Because you have not made the effort to get the food for yourself? God says, no, no, it's not just going to happen. You and I have got to do something. When we begin to worship God, even in our wealthy place, God will pour out a blessing upon our lives and the glory of God will pour out amongst the people of God in the house of God. We've got to see signs and wonders in this day. You know one of the greatest tragedies about John the Baptist? John the Baptist talked a lot about God but John never experienced God. Preacher, that's untheological. I'm going to show it to you. A lot of us talk about God, but do we really experience God? Because the Bible says, signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. Let me show you what the Bible says about John the Baptist. The Bible says John was about to be, in fact, John was in prison. Let, let me go there. The Bible says John was in prison. And John was so depressed. Look at Matthew chapter 11 and verse 2 through 6. The Bible says this, John was so depressed, he was the forerunner of Christ. In the book of John, Matthew chapter 11, verse uh, 2 to 6, the Bible says this, Now, when John had heard in the prison the works he sent two of his disciples. This is John the Baptist. This is the forerunner of Christ. Look at what John said. The Bible says, and said unto him, art thou he that should come? Or do we look for another? Look at Jesus' response. Jesus answered and said unto them, go and shoot John again those things which you do hear and see. The blind receive their sight. And the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed. And the deaf hear. The dead are raised up. And the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he. Whosoever shall not be offended in me. Jesus said, John, when you sow into me, there's power that comes from your life. When we sow in worship to God, there is a bountiful harvest of power that we can speak those things which are not as though they are. Because in this season, you and I are going to need power like we have never had before. Go to, to, to the book of Luke, I'm sorry, go to brother Luke then in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8. And after that the Holy Ghost has come upon them, they shall receive power. This Holy Ghost ain't for me just to speak in town. If I'm a worship God, I need this power to pray out some demons who's trying to block me from worshiping God. 
if I'm going to have this power, I need this power so that when distractions come, I can still say I'm going to worship God in spite of what you are saying. I'm going to worship God. Worship ain't play play, y'all. Worship has got to be for real. Because worship requires a price. I know a lot of y'all didn't expect this, hey, but this is what God gave me for 2021. He says, if you're going to reap a bountiful harvest, before you get to the money and the wealth and all that stuff, you got to start with me. Adam and Eve knew what it was to worship God in perfection. And because of sin, and because of disobedience, what happened? That perfection was lost. And so now, worship is a struggle. Worship has got to happen in dry places. You ever come to the church and you want worship and you feel like jumping and shouting and everybody look boring? Okay, let me come now to the way you are. You ever go to a party and you jumping up and screaming and you all excited and everybody just sitting down like, who that? God says, understand this. He says, at the end of the day, when sin entered this world, worship became a problem. Why? Because there was a challenge between God and Satan. The Bible says like this, God used to come down to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden in the cool of the day. Now, some people ain't got no air conditioning. So they got to worship God in the heat of the day. And they got to worship their way through to, to a blessing. In the cool of the day, God would come down, have worship together with Adam and Eve. Now, we got trouble to have people raising their hands in the house of God. Because they think, in air condition, because they think it don't take all that. Bishop, it don't take all that screaming you do and shouting and sweating. It takes that and much more when hell's breaking loose in your life. Uh -huh. you, you let you be in some dry places and ain't nobody can help. And you discover that you need God. Everybody who thought they couldn't call the name of Jesus, you get in some dry places. Isaac was in a bind and then he discovered that in the midst of famine, God said to him, you better sow right where you are. Maybe some of y'all never been in dry places in your relationships. Maybe some of y'all never been in dry places in your finances. Maybe some of y'all never been in dry places in your mind. Maybe some of y'all never been in dry places with people. Maybe some of y'all never been in dry places because everything seems to be coming down on your head. Look here. I heard the news the other day. This one committed suicide. That one committed su suicide. And I said to myself, thank God. There go I, but for the grace of God. If we think that we are all that on a bag of chips, we ain't all that it's because God is keeping us in the midst of our knuckleheadedness God is still keeping us and the least that he requires of us David said in Psalm 103 oh that men would praise the Lord according to his excellent goodness his greatness toward the children of men I will bless the Lord at all times his praises shall continually be in my mouth God brought me this revelation he says Lester yeah, I'm going to bless you, but I want your worship to be so focused that it's all about me. Folks, this is the season where I can't be worrying about what's on the news when the Spirit said it's time to read the Word. I can't be concerned about how much likes are on Facebook and YouTube. Because a whole lot of folks don't like you anyhow. They only following you for gossip. Amen. Lights. God says, this is the season where you've got to be laser focused. Your worship 
has got to be uninterrupted and you have got to understand no matter who is there, no matter who may try to block you, you've got to understand because here's what's going to happen. When you worship God, that's how you get the blessing. The more you worship God, the Bible says, God says, no good thing will I withhold from them who love me, especially those who are my children. Imagine if you keep telling your God and my God, God, you're such a good God. God, you're such an awesome God. God, you know I love you. You all good ugly I God you know you're worthy of a praise God you know this and God you know that and God just so I mean he so loves us much that much he says I'm gonna bless you whatever you need I'm gonna bless you whatever you need I'm gonna bless you even though folks don't like you I'm gonna bless you that's the type of God he is we've just got to worship him in spirit and in truth so the word says they that's so in tears. I know in my notes there, but I'm flowing you all. I know you got a whole bunch of stuff there for me, but I'm going to flow. The Bible says, they that so in tears shall reap in joy. That's what worship does. Maybe some of y'all in 2021, maybe you haven't got to the point as yet. But you're going to have to get to the point where you're on your knees and all the snot coming out your nose, all the tears coming out your eye. you got to forget all your cuteness and your handsomeness because there's going to come a moment I prophesy to you. I'm not here to be negative. I'm just trying to tell you what the Spirit gives to me. He said there's going to come some moments in your life where you don't know whether you're coming or you're going. And you better know that you've planted worship seed in the ground because even when your eyes are dry, help me out here, even when your eyes are dry, even when it seems as though they want to kill you, he says, because you've planted worship seed in the ground, that even through your tears, the worship is going to come forth and God is going to inhabit your praises. That's the type of God he is. When we sow in tears, we shall reap in joy. Day they shall doubtless come again rejoicing, bringing their sheaves with them. What does that mean, preacher? Every blessing that God gave. I'm going to come and say, here it is. I'm going to say, this is because of God. Because I've sold in worship. And God was pleased with my worship. And God is pleased with my sacrifice. Then God is going to bless me abundantly. Don't matter what the haters say. Don't matter what the backbiters say. Don't matter what the enemies say. If God before me, who can be against me? It's not by might it's not by power but it's by my spirit said the lord of hosts i don't care how they look at me i'm gonna worship him i don't care where it is i'm gonna praise him i don't care how they talk about me i'm gonna bless him because i want to see the power of god in my life and i want god to move in my life like he has never moved before the Bible says that Isaac sowed in that land notice God in Matthew said before and some reaped sixty fold and some a hundred fold and some thirty fold what God, I don't mean to be sacrilegious uh, but what God did right here God went straight to a royal flush, uh, he said forget the sixty fold uh, and forget the thirty fold uh, when you sow in worship, uh, God said I'm going to cause you uh, to reap a hundred fold, uh, that which tried to bind you uh, is going to be your stepping stone uh, you're going to walk into uh, your destiny uh, because God is going uh, to pour out uh, a bountiful blessing in your life oh, God gave me so much all I can't tell it all but I want you to know I want you to understand worship will cause your enemies to flee <laughs> worship will cause the devil to say don't mess with that one <laughs> 
Worship will cause the enemy to know that you are a child of God. You ever notice some crazy folks don't mess with some folks? You know the reason why? Because they know some folks don't play around. That's why I'm at the point right now. Any devil that comes my way, I'm letting him know. You better show yourself now. Why? Because I'm going to cast you out. Because signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. God didn't just give me power to speak in tongues but God gave me power to tread on scorpions and serpents God gave me power as I worship him so that I can speak to the enemy and declare no devil not today devil not today he says and Isaac sowed in that land what you recognize here, Isaac sowed in a foreign land. What does that have to do with us, preacher? I'm glad you asked. We are strangers on this earth. You know what I notice? A whole lot of other isms are not afraid to let you know who they are. And when the church has an opportunity, we who are blood washed, to let folks know, not just to say Romans 1 16, but to act it out. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. You've got to understand, y'all, that at the end of the day, if the cusser could cuss like he cuss, if the homosexual can walk like he and she walk, if the one here can do what they want to do, when I come in, I got to say, yes, I know Jesus. Jeremiah said it's like fire that shut up in my bones. You got to bust the hallelujah sometimes in the midst of your hell hole. You've got to bust the praise of Lord in the midst of your dry place. You got to bust the bless God in the midst of all the cussing that's going on. Why? Because when we worship God, we'll come into our midst. So, I'm going to give you all of this. Come back Sunday. But I got to close. I was thinking, I was thinking about my grandfather as I was preparing his text, this text. And his favorite scripture was Hosea chapter 10, verse 12. The ultimate act of worship. He would have been about 121 if he was still alive. And with a VAT 19 bottle, I think it was. I can't remember if it was Methuselah or whatever it was. He would say, Lester, God brought me into the church with a liquor bottle in my back pocket. But somehow, the Spirit of God got a hold of me. I don't know what it, I didn't know what it was to worship. Uh, he said, and God dropped a, a, a scripture in his tent, in his spirit. Uh, and he preached, that was his favorite scripture in the book of Hosea chapter 10. Take me on out, guys. Uh, he says, so uh, to yourself in righteousness, uh, reap in mercy. Uh, it is time to break up the fallow ground uh, until the Lord comes uh, and rains righteousness upon the earth. Uh, this is time for you and I to break up the fallow ground whatever it is that's blocking our worship we've got to let it go because our focus has got to be God whether I'm coming crawling whether I'm coming crying whether I'm coming screaming whether I'm coming on bending knees I'm coming to worship I will sow to myself in righteousness for I will reap in mercy I will break up the fallow ground for it is time to seek the Lord until he reigns righteousness upon the earth. God knows our world needs righteousness. I know a lot of y'all are excited about the American elections. 
I'll put it this way. You got rid of one devil to deal with another devil. Because if you think things were bad, I'm not being political, y'all. The, the woman that's coming in as the new vice president was not afraid to perform the first gay marriage, one of them, in San Francisco. In fact, she marched with the gay pride group. I thought the Bible says to be gay means to be happy. See how the world just twists things around. And so if you are depending on man, the same folks that you are shouting about are the same folks going to tell you, you can't say Jesus. You can't praise him like that. You can't carry on like that. But I'm going to say the devil is a liar. I'm going to praise Jesus. Whether they, whether they tell me I can or not, I'm going to praise Jesus. If they lock me up, I'm going to praise Jesus. If they take everything from me, I'm going to praise Jesus. Oh, y'all ain't going with me. I'm going to praise Jesus. If I have no food in my cupboard, I'm going to praise Jesus. If I have no money in my pocket, I'm going to praise Jesus. Because at the end of the day, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. The word declares, at the end of the day, be not weak weary in well doing for you shall reap in due season if you faint not there is a bountiful harvest that's coming and I'm about to reap because my worship is for real God says tell the people Lester this bountiful harvest is coming with a price. The reality is, are you willing to pay the price? Because some days, I don't know about y'all, but the only thing I got is my worship. I'm, I'm a, I've been a budgeter basically all my life. I don't like bills. And sometimes God jumps smart on me. He says, well, if you don't like bills, don't put yourself in it. That ain't for you all, I'm talking me now. And the other day, I was looking every now and then, especially year in, I look at all my bills, and I asked God the question just the other day, not why, as Bishop McLaughlin said, God bless you, Daddy. He said, don't ask God why, just ask him how long, and I said, God, how long? <laughs> how long? I, got, I, I went to the side a little bit, Vanessa didn't see me. I went to the side, tried to hold my head. Because I thought all I was paying, Demetrius, I thought it was going now. But I discovered at the end of the day, the more you pay, the more it stays the same. And so I asked God, how long? And God slapped me upside my head. He said, Lester, don't you understand? Haven't I told you that I'm going to get you out of debt? Haven't I told you that I'm going to do the miraculous in my life? And so I stopped asking how long? And I I start thanking him. That's how worship begins. When you can thank him in your dry place. God, I know I've got a bill, but I thank you anyhow. God, I know they're about to take my house, but I thank you anyhow. God, I know they're about to repossess my car, but I thank you anyhow. God, I know my mind's acting up, but I thank you anyhow. And when I offer him the sacrifice of praise, then God will come and inhabit my praise and God will do the miraculous in my life because that's the type of God he is I'm leaving y'all I gotta finish this Sunday but I just want to remind you one more time don't worry about the haters don't worry about the naysayers. Don't even worry if you got a letter from the devil. Sennacherib himself. Know this one thing. When you go down on 
on your knees in prayer. Come here, brother Jeremiah. Call unto me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not of. When I begin to worship God, he will reveal himself to me. So as we are on the brink on this eastern time zone of a brand new year, I'm not looking behind. I know the medical folks are trying to do their do and say their thing. That's all right with them. But I'm looking to God. I'm looking. I saw a sign. I guess I drive. I drive all over the Bahamas. And I saw my, a sign, my good friend, Brother Saunders there in this area and he has his camping picture and somebody put a, put a handwritten sign underneath his camping picture and I smiled as I drove back a, by a couple times and I drove by the day and the sign, it's, it's there on Faith Avenue, y'all. Saunders, you owe me some change. Anyway, uh, uh, for advertising. No, I'm kidding you. The sign says that COVID-19 doesn't cover the Bahamas. Uh, God does. I got a smile out of it. That means that I can worship God in spite of COVID-19. I can worship God in all my dry places. I can worship God. And when I worship God, God will dwell in my worship. My good friend with all of her pain, some of you may know her, Miss Joy Simmons, Bishop Kenny, God bless you. Joy Simmons used to say, Bishop, with all that I'm going through, my worship has got to be for real because I've got to give God a yet praise. This was a woman that was struggling with cancer, but yet she was still smiling. <laughs> she got a prayer. It seemed though the more pain she got, the more she praised God, El Edison. And I thought, God, bring me to 2021. <laughs> let, let me show you what my last, my last, uh, let me just give you the last uh, uh, that I wrote down. Let me, let me show you the last thing that I wrote down in 2021. <laughs> I said, God, when you bring me, he says, um, uh, let, let my worship change my season so that I can reap the harvest of God's power and life. And here's the last thing I wrote in my notes. I skipped over a whole lot of stuff. Come back Sunday, you'll get the rest of it. But I said, that is my mission. That is my desire. That is my all. Folks, in this season, if I'm going to reap a bountiful harvest, I got to sow in worship. I had to repent, y'all. Just the body had to repent. I said, God, forgive me for being slothful. God, forgive me for coming into the sanctuary looking at what things are not right instead of focusing on you. Media people and all y'all, I said, look here. I believe in excellence, but I ain't focusing on y'all. I'm coming in to praise him. I'm coming in to worship him. If I got to sing off key, I'm coming in to make a joyful noise. Because 2021 has got to be for me more than I've ever had in my life. As I was preparing this text, God, I said, God, you, you, I thought a blessing was enough. He said, no, Lester, tell them for me a bountiful blessing. <laughs> that means pressed down and shaken together and running over. Good God, I feel like it. <laughs> but I got to leave you now. I got to tell you this. <laughs> when you get it pressed down and shaken together and running over, what do you do when you got your blessing? <laughs> you got to say, here, sister, some for you. <laughs> here, sister, some for you. <laughs> and here, brother, some for you. <laughs> Because I've got so much. Uh, and because God has been so good. Uh, I can't really hold it all. Because uh, the love of God is so. Uh, that I can't be mean. Uh, so even though you've been mean to me. Uh, I'm still going to bless you. Uh, for the Bible says do good to them. Uh, who despitefully use you. Uh, and love them. Uh, just wrap your arms around them. And let them know the love of God. 
God. Hello. Oh, Lord. Got the soul. See, because when you so worship, everything else will fall in place. Okay, let's go Bible. Matthew 6.33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Under the unction of the power of the Holy Ghost, I'm making a prophetic utterance tonight, this night. That we are going to see tangible signs and wonders amongst us in this house. The tragedy, Elder Kevin, I read the text. I said, John talked about God, but didn't know him. I said, God, but this is the forerunner of God. This, this is the one who leaped in Elizabeth's womb. In his moment of a dry place, John said to his disciples, are you the one? That's like my wife asking me, Lester, are you my husband for real? Or should I find someone else? After 32 years, I, if, if, I'm, if I don't check myself, I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. After 32 years, I'm bringing it home, y'all. She would ask me the question, are you the one? Or should I look for another? That's as simple as I can put it. John, who didn't understand the full ramification of what he was and who he was, he was simply the forerunner of Christ. He had to die. He had to die. There's no ands if John had to die. He was born to die so that Jesus could be exposed. But yet in his moment, all of us have dry places. It may seem as though we are in foreign lands. But I want to encourage you in that moment. Sow into that ground. And when you sow into that ground, God will cause you and I to reap a hundredfold. I know we're about to leave you and we're about to get out of here. I know this is the 9.15 hour but in your spirit in your spirit see this moment as you cross over into a brand new season leave what is in the rear view mirror behind press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. There is a bountiful harvest. I heard so clearly in my spirit, God just told me to say it again. There is a bountiful harvest that God has for us. And look at what the text says. The text says, Isaac sowed in that land. And look at what it says. The text says, and he reaped in that same year. I prophetically declare under the unction of the Holy Spirit that in this same year, 2021, as you have sowed, God's going to cause a same year reaping because that's the type of God he is. I want to pray with you before we leave today. Wherever you are around the world today, whether you're in the Philippines, hello my friend Pastor Ken Shaku in Kenya with Pastor Grace. 
Whether you're in Canada, whether you're in Bermuda, whether you're in Jamaica, whether you're in the United States of America, whether you are in the islands of the Bahamas, wherever you are listening to the sound of my voice and to our worship tonight, I want to encourage you. Galatians says, be not weary in well-doing, for you shall reap in due season if you faint not. That's not possibly, that's not maybe. God says, that's a definite. So I want to pray for you today. That as you come into this brand new season, you will leave those things that are behind you, behind you. And that you will press into the new. Can I pray? Whether you're in the house or out of the house. Let's pray today as they sing. Father, I thank you for this opportunity. God, for giving me the insight and the revelation to declare your word tonight. Father, I hold on to it for myself because I believe you to reap a bountiful harvest. And even as Isaac sowed in that land where there was famine, I thank you that as we sow, oh God, that you're going to cause us to reap 100-fold. I pray for that man, that woman, that boy, that girl listening to the sound of my voice that needs a savior today. God, may they call upon you. May they call upon you and ask you to come into their life even now. Not just ask you, God, not just confess. But help them to repent, to turn away from that which they were doing. And may they turn to you. God, I bless you for my brother, my sister. I bless you for this house. Every family that's represented in this house. I thank you, God, for what you're going to do in and through us as we sow in worship, true worship unto you. We bless you now. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Carry us out singing, would you? On behalf of my wife, Elder Vanessa, and the exciting people of Word of Truth Ministries International, located in beautiful Nassau, the Bahamas, we want to say a happy new year to you, a God-filled new year. And may God ever be your protection around about your life. We look forward to seeing you worshiping with us again. But until such time, may the grace and the peace of God forever be with you. Bishop Lester M. Cox saying so long. Until next time, God bless you.